17 points, three of six from three tonight. He is the only net to play in every single game this season. Another fine night. Here he is post game. Hey Joe, what does this what does this W say about this group? Another road win. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, this year is unusual. So Portland's is not the same sort of atmosphere. You know, there were zero fans there tonight, um, which I think has helped us out a little bit here um, on the road because we played extremely well, especially against these Western Conference teams. Um, but uh, I think you know. Just over the course of today's game, you know, we showed a level of resilience um, that that good teams show. You know, for us to give up 41 points uh, in the first quarter and then to kind of like steadily uh, take it down each quarter following, um, you know, that's huge. Because at the beginning of the game, it was looking like we were going to get ourselves into a little bit of a shootout, and uh, you know, we just talked about tightening up stuff defensively, and you know, we did that, and I think you know that played in large part why we were able to come away with a win. You hold them to 21 points in that fourth quarter. What kind of strides have you guys made over the course of the season on the defensive side of the ball? I thought going into the break, you know, those last probably like 10, 11 games, um, we were playing extremely well defensively. You know, I think we were kind of finding our rhythm, our confidence on that end. Guys were picking up for one another, sacrificing for one another. And for whatever reason, coming back from the break, we, we dipped a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're slowly starting to get back there. Um, you know, tonight was definitely – a better defensive effort against a really good offensive team. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Joe, you guys uh, dominated them in the paint, and that's a game where the temptation could have been to try to match their their three-point shooting. Uh, did you guys – was that a conscious adjustment that you made to go inside, or, or is Nick Claxton just having a, a major impact with his presence in the middle? I think it's just a feel of the game, you know, especially for somebody like James where, you know, he's kind of feeling out how people are playing him, how defense are, are guarding everybody else. And if they're going to load up on other people and a lot of opportunities for other guys to make plays, you know, he's, he's able to uh, sort of exploit that weakness. And, uh, you know, he does it time in, time again. Sometimes it's with perimeter players and then other times it's with bigs. And then tonight, you know, I think uh, it wasn't necessarily a conscious effort, I don't think. I think it was just sort of how the game unfolded.